at the foot of the mountain in the northern suburbs of Beijing, the capital city of China. There is an imperial cemetery built hundreds of years ago, because 13 emperors of the Ming Dynasty were buried here. It is called the Thirteen Tombs. Four of the thirteen imperial tombs are open to tourists, and one of them was excavated half a century ago, and the underground palace was opened. This excavated tomb is the Dingling Mausoleum that we will explore in this series, which was the resting place of Emperor Wan Li of the Ming Dynasty. In this episode, we will take a look at what's inside this cemetery. Emperor Wan Li was the thirteenth of the sixteen emperors of the Ming Dynasty. He was the longest reigning emperor in the Ming Dynasty, reaching forty-eight years. He died in sixteen twenty at the age. Of 58, the Ming Dynasty was overthrown 24 years after his death. This building with three arched doorways is the main entrance of the cemetery. The doorway in the middle of all imperial buildings in ancient China was for the emperor to walk through, but the entrance to the cemetery was slightly different. This was for the deceased emperor's coffin to pass through. However, it is known through archaeology that the coffin of Emperor Wan Li was not entered into the cemetery for burial through here. We will explain this in the next episode. After passing through the gate, we can see a tall building in the distance, but this was not possible hundreds of years ago. Because there was originally a gate built on this platform. From this old photo, we can see what this gate looked like. Unfortunately, this building was destroyed during the war. We can only imagine what it once looked like through the remaining pillar foundations on the ground. Emperor Wan Li started building his own tomb when he was 22 years old. Which was completed six years later. In other words, after the tomb was built, it remained empty for 30 years before he finally came to rest here. Since this tomb was built during the lifetime of Emperor Wan Li, it means that the construction of this tomb was personally supervised by the emperor. As you can imagine, the scale of the project. Is enormous. In fact, the scale of this cemetery can be ranked third among the 13 Ming Dynasty imperial tombs. Now we can see another platform in front of us. A majestic hall originally stood on it, but it has also been destroyed. If the hall still existed, it might look like this. This was the place. Where later emperors worshipped their ancestors. Ancient Chinese buildings were mostly brick and wood structures. Wooden pillars were load-bearing components. The thickness of the pillars determined the size of the building. Judging from the remaining pillar foundations, this building was originally very tall and magnificent. After walking down the steps, we officially enter the mausoleum area, where the tomb owner rests. This gate symbolizes the boundary between the human world and the underworld. The tall building behind this gate is the tomb of Emperor Wan Li. These five stone carvings are offerings to the tomb owner. Behind them is a palace-like building that stands on a tall platform, which can only be used for imperial tombs. Walking up the steps, we can see a stone tablet inside, with the identity of the tomb owner engraved on it. 
through Google Earth, we can see that there is a huge circular area behind this building. The area has a circumference of more than 700 meters and an area of more than 40,000 square meters, which is roughly equivalent to six football fields. Below this area is the burial chamber of Emperor Wan Li. But where exactly is it located? How did archaeologists discover the tomb entrance more than half a century ago? We will talk about this in the next episode.